Hello everyone, drum tech drummer and online educator Kenny Sheritz with a quick intro reminder that if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to help it grow. I'll also mention that if you like my drum tuning tip vids and wish to help support my YouTube channel, please use the super thanks button which is now available on my vids to tip for the tips. Finally, while this video demos and discusses eight great tuning intervals for a 14 inch by 22 inch bass drum, it does not include the note values I used for each tuning interval in the video. The note values are, however, included in the full version of this lesson, which you can stream for free at KennyShares.com. Once there, you can also check out my free drum tuning blogs, drum tuning videos, and drum lesson charts. Or you can stream step-by-step -step drum tuning lessons that give you a wicked set of tuning skills based on my 23 years of experience tuning drums for artists such as Stevie Wonder, Janet Jackson, Rihanna, Puff Daddy, Elvis Costello, or my current gig with Mickey Hart and the Dead. All while helping to support my channel. Now originally this lesson was meant to be a step-by-step -step drum tuning lesson, but alas, some of the step-by-step -step footage was unusable. Moreover, the instruments I used to document 100% repeatable tunings for you, the viewer, were compromised. Hence, I no longer had 100% confidence in the pitches I had documented. However, since the drum sounds were good and there was so much useful information in the video, I decided to use my good data and my ears to pretty accurately guesstimate the pitches I used in this video. That way, at least drummers like you get a free lesson that may help you find the perfect drum tuning interval for your bass drum, all while checking out my website. Solid. For now though, please check out these awesome bass drum tunings to see if any of them might be the bass drum tuning interval for you. And as always, thank you for watching. Hello everyone, drum tech drummer and online educator Kenny Shares coming to you with a video on how to tune a 22 by 14 inch bass drum. Now the tunings that we'll talk about today will work great with a lot of different bass drums, but we're going with the classic 22 by 14 size, because as one of my mentors, Tommy Taylor said, why try to fix the paper clip? Because it's a perfect bass drum with a perfect sound, lots of punch, lots of bottom end. And so as we go through these tunings, remember that with deeper bass drums, we might be able to adjust some of these tunings or use them and just adjust them a little for the size. Now at this moment, you heard the intro, which has this bass drum with a tighter back head and a looser front head. So I could start by showing you some front head tunings that work with this tight back head and then flip that where I work with a loose back head and a tight front head because when it boils down to it, bass drum tuning is about two things specifically. A number one, how does it feel to the drummer? I don't care how low it is in pitch or, or how perfect it is in pitch, if it doesn't feel right to the drummer, the drummer's not gonna be happy playing it. And that's the A number one purpose of a kid, having a drummer playing it well. The other thing you wanna do is try to get the lowest fundamental tones while still getting the rebound you like on the batter head. And this is the challenge with most bass drums. I find a lot of drummers tune it up a little bit higher and they're like, where's the bottom end? Or they'll just put wrinkles on the head and they'll go, where's the bottom end? It's a trade-off of attack and tone that we're looking for, so finding that perfect spot for you takes a little time. So hopefully this journey will help you find the bass drum sound you've been looking for. Now, like I said, this sound is punchy, tight, with a lot of bottom end. And it gives you a good sound. Now, we've got a, a, a almost a C on this, on this batter head and about an A on the front head. This is a step and a half lower. Works really well with this bass drum size, especially for drummers who want a little rebound. All right, you get a lot of attack, you get bottom end, but you still get the rebound and the punch and defined articulate figures. So let's hop around to the front of the kit and start with the first tuning that we're gonna show you at, which is wrinkled to no wrinkled. Now I know I've done a video on this before, but I wanna share it with you on this video so you can see the difference between having wrinkles on your head, which works on the fly when you need to get rid of some tone, and having just a little bit of tension on there to where there's no wrinkles, just at the lowest tuning you can go, and see how much bottom end we can include on this bass drum or increase on this bass drum. Solid.
All right, so here we are in front of this Rogers bass drum, and I've already tuned down the head to where you can see it's got defined wrinkles. Now, I know a lot of drummers who use this is an emergency situation or kind of their go-to when there's too much tone coming out of the bass drum, but I want to show you the difference between just a wrinkle and then just as low as it can go so you can see how much more you can maximize the bottom end tone simply by making sure it's as low as it can go but above wrinkle. So let's check this out with the flappy wrinkle. Come on, y'all. All right, now I can even feel the bottom end disappear just from sitting back here. I don't even have my ears plugged in yet because I just got excited to come back here and play for y'all. But I can feel the bottom end dropping out. So let's go on up front, just put the lowest tuning on there, and let's get to it, y'all. absolutely returned that is the bass that has absolutely returned to this drum i can hear it and feel it in what i'm playing i can hear it in my ears y'all so that shows you the difference that just going right above wrinkle can make in your bass drum sound now i know it's helpful sometimes but knowing that you can actually get a lower note and you still don't lose much of attack and you get a lot more bottom end when you have it just above wrinkle it might be something you want to check out so let's go back to the front of this tune this front head up a half step lower this back head and we can see what that sounds like, y'all. Solid. And so while that is a great sound and a great feel, I can hear the bottom end kind of shaping out of the drum because we're getting the heads a little too tight. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is bring the tone back down by backing down this top head because I found, I think, where I want to keep that front head at. So now back here, I'm just going to duck down, y'all, peek at you through here. And we're going to go a set of 90 degree turns. All right, now we got some distance in the back head. And the reason I'm doing this way is so you can hear right away the difference between having the head too tight in the back and too tight in the front to just backing that back head down. Sometimes it's all you need if you don't lose your rebound, but you want a tighter front head and a tighter punch to the bass drum. This is a great way to go about it. All right, now you can see just with a set of 90 degree turns on the back of this slightly tight head, I was able to get a lot more tone out of the bass drum, yet I did not sacrifice any of the rebound that I had going on the back of this head. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and take the back head down to bass and bring it up and show you how having a little bit looser head can get you a lot more tone out of your bass drum. The matter of difference here is how much versus tone versus rebound is the trade-off that you're willing to give. Let's check it out, y'all. So now we got the kit set back up with the bass drum head tension. I think about where I like it. Let's see if I'm correct. <laughs> now that feels like home to me, just a little bit softer. Where I can lay into it hard for big fat quarter notes. But still have enough 
for active rebound and get a nice tone out of this drum. Now this front head is tuned almost a perfect fifth, it seems like, to my ears, above this bass drum head, and that's my whole point. Bass drum tuning is an exact science of inexact sciences put together. Sometimes different bearing edges, different hoops, different shell depths can change the way you approach tuning a bass drum, which is why I'm not really getting too deep into pitches or even drum dial tensions today. This is more of a kind of an earth and holistic approach to tuning the bass drum. Ah, feels good to be home, y'all. Ah, uh, but I know that that front head seems a little tight for my taste, and I, it's punchy. It's, it's, it's got some kick to it, but I want more bottom end. So we're gonna hop around to the front head, and I'm gonna show you how far I'm gonna take it down to get the next interval we got going on, y'all. You're gonna hear these different sounds. But first, I'm gonna flip this dynamatic bass drum beater because it's that easy to do to the felt side, so you can hear how this tuning, my placement of bass drum head tuning, sounds with a felt beater. Okay, y'all, so we're back behind the kit with the bass drum, and now I'm gonna see what this sound gives me with a little bit looser front head. Ooh. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we have the attack that we wanted from a still a semi, uh, semi kind of in the medium tuned back head, but by lowering that front head to a closer interval, I got a richer, fuller sound. So I can get big bass drums and, and kind of like, you know, kick drums. where I can really sink into the kick drum, but I still got a lot of rebound going on. So let's check this with a click and see what it feels like compared to some of the other patterns. Okay, absolutely feels good to be home, y'all. This bass drum feels like the bass drum I want it to be. Uh, it's got attack, it's got rebound, but it's still got a lot of bottom end, man. And this is, again, what this whole video is about. What you as a drummer want out of your bass drum. How does it feel to you? Because again, that's all that really matters. Nothing else really matters. What anybody else says doesn't matter. What matters is the drummer playing it is happy when it comes to the bass drum, y'all. So now we're gonna go out to the front head Turn it down just a little bit, y'all, and see what we can get about getting a lower head, because I know that this back head is where I want it. However, to make sure that when I tune that front head a little bit lower, it doesn't soup out on this side, I'm gonna give everyone a little like set of 90 degree turns. Jeff, oh, come on. And then, oh, there it is, there it is. Now I'm gonna have to do these individually here, because it's just too hard to do together from this distance. But there we go. So let's hop out to the front, check it out and take that head down to chest above wrinkle and see what kind of bottom end we can get out of this 22 by 14 inch Rogers Kevington bass drum, yo. And here we are back at the kit, y'all, man, ready to hear this bass drum demoed out, so let's check it out, y'all. <laughs> Oh my God, I might have just found a new home, y'all. That is epic. Because again, this is a brand new bass drum for me. I'm still exploring it myself. I kind of wanted to take you on the journey with me. Uh, this is epic. And I know for a fact that this is at least a whole step lower. Oh, almost a perfect fourth. And again, this makes me happy that I brought this back head up a little bit because it still feels like I had it. Yet I'm getting punch out of the drum. The front head, like about as low as it can go. So, oh. 
that bottom end is coming through y'all so this could be one of the things that you can use whether you have like a medium or higher tuning uh, on your batter head for rebound where well, you keep that front head loose like that or kind of looser like I have it where it's still a bit uh, soft on this side but has a nice rebound and get the max bottom end out of this 2214 who needs a super long bass drum man this bad boy is killing it come on y'all let's check it out Oh, y'all, I gotta say I'm absolutely loving my brand new Rogers Covington bass drum, y'all. So many different tones, so many different sounds I can get out of this beautiful 22 by 14 uh, that I'm just, I can't wait to explore it more, y'all. But I think I might have found a new home because that is some bottom end for days. So again, I hope this helped you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stop by KennyShares.com for the full tuning lesson on this bass drum. That way you can help support my channel and get a great set of tuning skills to boot, y'all. And as always, Thank you for watching.